Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to my new online game. Um, I'm just gonna jump down here and use my own light zone. Oh man, the little fish is so cool. Cause yeah, I know that I need a lightstone, but like I have one of my own. I don't know if it counts. But you know, this is this is that era of video games where like pixel hunting for little things on the screen and trying everything on every object that you can see is uh, what you might call gameplay. All right, so uh, I, I I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm not sure what's up. So I restarted and I'm actually using a different build now. And this is additional backstory. This is lore, in fact. Alright, so in case you weren't sure what that was, uh, that's the symbolic representation of Mata Nui, and, uh, you know, obviously it's done so with rocks that I mentioned last time. Um, I want to talk about this. Again, you can see that that is... Well, let me turn my camera back on here. Just want to center it. That's an arm, and you can see that it looks rather similar to this arm piece. And it's got a little hook on the end. Uh, that's the same kind of hook that Golly uses, although I don't want to dig her out because I grabbed the wrong can by mistake. Um, so this is the Great Telescope. This can be used to tell the future. The position, this is the red star. There it is. Uh, it moves through the sky and whatever it's doing indicates a different prophecy. So we can see the red star is doing something, I don't know. That's interesting. Oh man, there's so many cool little neat things in here. See, so yeah, I'm supposed to be able to... Like, I know that I am a, a Let's Player and that means that I'm just inherently not good at video games. But maybe it's indicating the coming of canisters. That would make sense. Maybe it's supposed to be the Bull Rock. Anyway, turn that down a little bit more. The game's uh, not like rock solid. You change your mind, will you help us? Okay, I told her I won't help. 
Yes, I will help. All right. See, so this is the older build of the game, so hopefully it'll work. But yeah, um, do you guys remember desktops? Like huge, chunky, clunky, like gateway brand desktops. They had like a chalky white plastic on the outside. And this is this is one for you real old kids. You guys remember when you had a PC and the screen was not flat? And what's more, the screen was a different part from the rest of the computer? That was how I played this game originally. Oh, there it is. But I don't have my backpack. Weird. Ah, there we go. So if I minimize this, you can see that this is Takua's face. He's wearing a mask called the Picari. Uh, minor detail. But there are like four or five important plot characters who wear the mask called the Picari. Maku sent me to rescue you. So this is um, this was supposed to be like an additional set dressing game, and the first uh, year of Bionicle lore was meant to be fleshed out by two things: uh, a CG animated movie, which we got but not in 01, and a video game. And the video game got canceled after it was like, yeah, now we got it. I don't know why you start with the lights from the other one. I guess it would make sense, but alrighty. Hey guys. All right. Oh, there it is. Machine part. So yeah, that didn't happen in the other one. I don't know if I was just holding on the wrong part of the screen, but whatever. If it works, it works, and it looks like it works, so we're good. Let me finagle my way over here. Yeah. And these pumps also look like the pumps used. I think they were uh, used in Bionicle for the Naira Ghost Blasters in 2008 at first. Yeah. It's so cool. The animations are so lame, but they're cool. It was cool for me. When I was a kid playing this on my on my uh, ancient dinosauric uh, gateway PC, I thought I was watching the moon landing. Okay, it's not dead. Don't worry. So yeah, Makuta being a being of shadow is a being of all the bad stuff. Um and uses infected masks to uh, mind control dudes. So this is the can for Golly that I've got in my hand here. Uh, as in lore, she's come apart a little bit. Her joints could be in a little better quality, but that's okay. And these things, the tops of the cans, this was a separate thing in lore. This was a, a thing called a suva, which is uh, where you would keep your masks when you weren't wearing them. It's like hammer space, you know? You can, you can teleport masks onto your face from it. So yeah, and then because it's Technic, she has gears, and so you can make her dig a little bit. She's got a little dust in her, but don't mind that. Sorry, this is so unprofessional, but I think I have one of um, Nokama as well, somewhere in here. All right, I couldn't find it. Um, though I did find one of Mata, but he's not in the story yet. We don't have to worry about him. Hey, Hero, thanks for saving us. Now we go back to fishing. Uh, they both say that. After the Rahi attack, there's much work to do restoring Gakoro. Hello. 
Um, any questions for me? The heavens are in turmoil and I must start their functions. Back to work, I guess. I'm the astrologer. I watch the stars and the water. I'm charting changes in the skies. Many important things are happening and many more will happen. I use the telescope on the cliff to tell us what happened and when. How do I use it? In the base are pictures. They're constellations, patterns of stars in the sky. that show prophecies. Each picture is a red star. When it reaches a certain place, something important will happen. When you look through it, you'll see many, and one of them is the red star. Look at the constellations near that. They'll look like the ones in the picture. When the red star is exactly where it is shown in one of the pictures, the red, uh, prophecy may come true. If something changes in the skies, it's my job to change the pictures that I can see the future. Even with Tohunga, yeah, so this is the older builds that use the word Tohunga. Uh, remember the prophecies, nothing is certain, the future can change. If you can read the numbers in the telescope, it's even easier to tell the future. Goodbye. All right. Nothing in here. He's resting. He's been through a great ordeal. In time, he may be tamed. So yeah, this thing is called a Tarakava, which is like a weird giant boxing robot. Scorpion. It's unclear. <laughs> That's funny. Where'd you like to go? I would like to go to Tawahi. So the island, I can actually bring up a, a map for you guys. Um, but the island is divided into six larger areas. Uh, and the areas are called Wahi. As a child, I was uh, confused on this and believed that they were co all called Koru. Koro. Wow, this is a huge image. Let me small that down. Uh, but the Koro, Koro is, is just the village, and so it is a small area inside the village itself. So let me show you what I'm trying to get a hold on here. For some reason, I downloaded the hugest, most HD picture possible. Which is fine, but not exactly uh, conducive to fast editing. A professional person would cut this. So yeah, we are in uh, the blue area here. Uh, the little part that kind of, I can't have a cursor. Dang. <laughs> here. A small, nope. I'll small down this and use this as a cursor. We're here. And I believe Tawahi is here with the volcano flats. Um. All right, we're back in. I'm gonna go to Tawahi. Reuse that boat animation. Don't worry, guys. So this was Templar Games that made this, I believe. So now that we have a little more clarity, maybe we can get a peek at this thing, huh? Now, where is that dang old red star? But yeah, all these are uh, things that have happened before. I mean, not yet, but they will happen. That's the problem of, like, explaining what the lore of Bionicle is, because all of it happened years ago now. So. Yeah. So, um, all the faces in Bionicle have little masks under them well the, everyone has a mask and the problem is like these masks are generic there are only 12 of them in the first year so everyone wears those 12 but under them they have a face and it looks like this that's what pretty much everyone's faces look like um there are other ones but most of them look pretty similar to that to begin with so kind of looks like a guy with a golf ball stuck in his mouth though so no comment.
So is there anything else that I can do here? Maybe I will go to Powahi. So I forgot that I have more t to do here. I heard there's trouble in Pokoro. Oh no, poor Huki. This is Maku, the girl who talked to us earlier. And that's Huki. Goodness, let me try to get my bearings here. That's the Astrologiar. Where's no comma at? Are we peek in here already? That's the Tarakava. It's the Tarakava that attacked the village. Don't be afraid, he's no longer under the dark influence of Makuta. Hmm. I'm getting totally lost here. No one's got a fish this big. Ah, uh, silly. Where is Nokama? I'm trying to speak with her. Can I still explore down here as well? I can. Neat. I don't think I have any purpose to be down here, but that's okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to do this next episode. Um, I'm also going to fix this. Yep. A little bit problematic when you're recording older games, you know. Uh, but yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been part two. We freed Gakoro. Uh, I hope nobody minds and, in fact, may even enjoy my uh, distractions to talk about Bionicle lore and show off my Bionic Clays because I'm very proud to have these. I'm very happy to have them back as well. I recently recovered them from my father's house. Not that they were in bad condition. My dad collects action figures too, so he was like, he gets it. He knows. He's with it. Uh, as I learned a lot this holiday, he's totally with it, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, I've been offered. This has been another part of my new online game. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.